I'm Matt Fitz with Fahrenheit Technologies. In this video, we'll be troubleshooting the loss of a vacuum error code. This can occur when the sales switch or vacuum sensor is closed for a period of 90 seconds or more. So to begin, we're going to check the ash pan and fire door and ensure they're closed and latched properly. Check your gasket to make sure there's no massive rips or tears. Also, check and make sure your, all of your gaskets are present on the ash pan. Next, we're going to check our intake. So remove your fresh air piping from outside. Open your damper all the way. Using an 8 inch or longer screwdriver, piece of wire, wire coat hanger, prod the sail switch to ensure it's not jammed. Jam up can commonly occur upon the first startup of the season. Some of our older styles also pivot from the top so they open on the bottom section. Next, go ahead and disconnect your power supply. Now we're going to ensure the exhaust and puller blades are not jammed. To do this, remove your maintenance cover. Ensure your gasket is not ripped. Slide your reducer plate up and to the left. Check your impeller blades to make sure there's not too much buildup behind them causing them to completely seize up. Reinstall your reducer plate, sliding it down and to the right, ensuring there's no gap on the right hand side. Reinstall your maintenance cover. Next we're going to check for voltage going to the wire harness, going to the back of the machine. Locate your yellow and white wire on the left hand side of the auger motor, going to the white and the black wire to the motor. Disconnect these two leads. Next we're going to check for voltage from the yellow and white wire. Keeping in mind there is going to be live voltage present, so take extra caution. Plug in your main power supply. And with the digital control panel, you will see 120 volts, whether that control board is through the maintenance sequence or is turned on to allow power going to the blower. If you do not see voltage, we can check the wires for continuity uh, from here to the control panel. Because we're already back here, we're going to go ahead and apply a direct 120 volts to the exhaust blower. So disconnect your main power supply, grab an external power cord. This one's already equipped with spade connectors. So we're going to apply the white to the white, the black to the black to the motor. Those are plugged in. Plug in your main power cord. And this bypasses the wire harness as well as the control panel for any further issues. If your blower does not turn on, it may be a faulty blower or just had its use put in. These normally range from four to six years as far as operational. Next, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect our control board from the side of the machine. And we're gonna check continuity from the wire leads. And 
sure your power cord is disconnected before you ever remove your control panel. We're going to first start out by checking continuity from the fuse to ensure we're working with a good fuse. Next, grabbing the white clip, pinching it, and pulling straight out. We're going to ohm out the wire harness. So grab your yellow wire from the harness leading to the blower. To terminal number 11 to the white clip. So this indicates we have no breaks in the line. Go ahead and reinstall your clip, ensuring that hook engages. Resecure your control panel with all four screws. check the white wire for continuity now. White wire is common in throughout our entire wire harness so if you grab any white terminal you should have continuity there as well. If your blower does turn on your wire does check out I would recommend contacting your local dealer to replace the control panel itself or contact us through our website at FahrenheitTech.com through our contact form. Thank you for watching.